Hey guys, what is going on? It's Simon here from Get Into Crypto and welcome back to another video update. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at blockchain stocks or crypto stocks as we like to call them in Get Into Crypto as a great way to get some exposure to the cryptocurrency bull market. So let's get into it. And we'll start with micro strategy. So I last did a video update back in December and uh, around about the time micro strategy had had bust its way up to uh, around about the $360 mark um, and came back and consolidated and um, has since broken out. So what I'm actually going to do in the first instance is grab this Fibonacci retracement and just extend this so we can kind of capture the entire move. Um, so I'll just make sure that I've got that Fib lined up correctly. It's just a little bit off. So we'll bring that down. And this fib is basically from our from our lows back in March uh, up to up to the recent high, January high. So, yeah, we can see that MicroStrategy has been on quite a rip. And uh, obviously, the last time I sort of covered the stock, we were sort of around about the, the, these levels. We, we were around the, the 300 to 350 level. We consolidated and we broke out higher. We, we saw a bit, bit of a similar consolidation and a breakout higher. And right now it looks like we're consolidating again. So, yeah, I mean, um, just just for full disclosure, I don't currently own any micro strategy. It is on my watch list. I have been looking for a, for a great place to buy um, micro strategy. But for me, when I was looking at this pullback here, I was hoping that we would come down a little bit lower, maybe down um, to this 0.5. And obviously, I've, I've, I've drawn this 225 level actually as a horizontal resistance on the chart. So that was my personal personal target at the time. Obviously, I didn't manage to get an entry. Um, and this one has just completely run away from me. Uh, so again, I'm, I'm, I'm lining up my fibs. I'm looking at this chart. I'm, I'm thinking this is looking really explosive. What I'm looking for now is probably us to, to, to come back down into these MAs, which obviously worked as support before. Um, and then I'll be looking at the Bitcoin charts and the crypto charts and trying to decide whether I, I, I think we can actually correct and we can pull back based on uh, where the price of Bitcoin is when this actually happens, if this actually happens, and take a view from there as opposed to whether I want to pull the trigger or not on micro strategy. I think in an ideal world, um, we can see this 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 0.5 level lining up with this 360 high. Uh, so I think in an ideal world, we want to see more of a retracement to be able to get like a, a really great entry into this. Um, but yeah, MicroStrategy has just got away from me, um, and I'm yeah, I mean, there's no shame in admitting that. Um, I've obviously been exposed to other other stocks, and I will look at a couple of stocks that I have been long throughout this up move or, or definitely the majority of this up move to, to around about the summertime. Um, so yeah, I think the, um, I, I think this, you know, I'm tempted to say, you know, don't dive in here, but then again, um, as long as crypto as, as a space, as, lo as long as more and more attention uh, gets drawn to Bitcoin and the Bitcoin price starts to ascend um, through 42,000, which I expect to at some point over the next month or two, then uh, I do expect MicroStrategy and a lot of these blockchain stocks to follow that move and keep on going higher. And uh, I said on my crypto update earlier on that my earliest time target for, for a high in Bitcoin, provided we don't just completely go vertical tomorrow um and and just 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 completely end up bubbling too soon is uh, around about september so i do think that any any significant pullback or any significant dip is going to have to be a buy and uh you know for me i'm looking at this 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 0.23 level i'm looking at the 382 level um these are all fib levels that i i might decide to get in based on what's actually happening in in the other cryptocurrency assets so yeah, micro strategy looking really healthy. And I'll just say to myself, look, if anybody has um, been involved in this move, there probably is, has, has been some temptation to take profits here. But uh, yeah, for me, it is, is one of these things that you really just have to try and hold on to because uh, it's likely that we're just going to keep on going, um, you know, over the course of the rest of the year. So 
microstrategy looking very healthy. Uh, we've got uh, Riot Blockchain here. So Riot Blockchain is a stock that I'm into at the moment. I was accumulating uh, over the over over the summer, really towards the end of the summer, uh, and I, I remember picking some up around the two two and a half level. And uh, yeah, it's it, it's just exploded. And admittedly, I have been taking little bits of profit on the way up, but we seem to be having more of a more of a significant correction as it stands at the moment. If we just actually look at this pullback here, then we can see we've actually pulled back thirty percent. So very similar to what we've seen in Bitcoin in terms of the thirty percent pullback that's done from forty two k to around the thirty k mark. Uh, for me, I'm really looking at this and saying, right, can we actually go a little bit lower? Uh, i.e. can we get down to this 382 level or even the, the, the 0.5 level so kind of similar I'm trying to use the Fibonacci retracements and I've also been able to, to draw a trend line here which I would expect to see hold so I mean for me a perfect entry would be to put, pull back into this trend line and then to obviously hold that as support and that's a that's um for me would be an opportunity to really add to my long position like i say for disclosure purposes i i am long right blockchain at the moment and it is uh, one of the stocks i expect to do really well and if we just look at right blockchain in the last uh, bull market then you can see you know we did have a multi-week consolidation here we did have a couple of week consolidation here but i mean just look at this move like this move really is from november up until like the middle middle to end of December. So you're talking about a two week move. And within those two weeks, uh, if we just take from the start of November, it's not actually going <laughs> to capture it all. Um, but if we, <laughs> we look at this wick here, then that's a, that's about a 600% move. So we're talking about 7x uh, in, in the last couple of months of the cycle. So again, uh, for me, it's just about getting fully positioned in these uh, stocks to be able to really capture that crazy price action when, when it comes. And I am fully expecting that to come. I don't think that these uh, markets have, have, have topped out just yet. I think there is at least another significant move up in, uh, in, in these blockchain stocks. So I, th I think to myself, uh, Riot, I mean, I, mean I, did, I did add a little bit back myself to Riot just looking at the log scale actually uh, makes it look a little bit more reasonable than the move we've seen um but yeah for, for me I'm, I'm looking around about i'd like i'd like to see us um come under under 20 and kind of maybe test down there maybe that will offer up a decent entry around this 18.95 um and then uh, depending on again depending on what bitcoin and the rest of the cryptocurrency market does that could be an entry or we could drop down a little further but for me i've got uh amounts that i have sold on the way up that i'm now looking to redeploy and uh these are the the main levels i'm looking at are really this 0.38 and also the 0.5 fibonacci retracements so uh, just going going up the stocks. So Hive is a Canadian-based firm. They're not a firm that I've actually invested in up until quite recently. So I, I, I bought into this dip. It was around about two point seven five, um, just to get just just to almost um, broaden my blockchain exposure. Like I say, I've I've, I've had profits that I have taken out of Riot and a couple of other stocks lately that I did have kind of sat in my ISA account that I thought to myself, look, I've I've had my eye on high for a while and like we say i mean you know it has pulled back we're looking at about a 20 percent pullback uh from the high that, that that was the pullback that i started to say i'm going to get in on bear in mind in in, in terms of position size we're, we're maybe talking about a, you know a, a tenth of what i've currently got in riot so so we're talking about maybe a 
Um, you know, if my full position is going to be, say, uh, a five, then we're talking about a one um, at the moment for, for what I've put into Hive. So I think if this does come down again, the, the, the entry for me, I'll be looking probably to pick up along this trend line that I've drawn in here. So potentially the 0.382 level um, would be a great entry if we do come down here, which could coincide with a with a retest of 30k on Bitcoin, um, and then I would expect to see Bitcoin turn around pretty quickly from only dip down, and I'd expect the uh, blockchain stocks to follow and for this to push on to to new all time highs. And like I say, we do have some data from uh, the last bull market in on Hive and. I mean, again, we just we just exploded uh, towards the end of the year. So you can see sort of September, October. It was actually November we topped. So we topped a little bit earlier on Hive. Um, so, yeah, maybe, maybe we'll see something similar. Maybe maybe Hive will, uh, will be a little bit of a, a almost like a front runner um, to the wider crypto market and the other blockchain stocks. But we'll just have to we'll have to see. But yeah, for me, um, Hive is looking. Hive is looking good. It's it's one that I am happy to pick up on this pullback. And uh, yeah, we'll. Um, I'll, I'll be buying a bit more if we do, do come down a bit more. And then we've got Canan here. So or Canan. Canan. Um, yeah, I don't know if it's Canan or Canan, but um, yeah. So we've we've got we've got this one that I I have been in again. I accumulated this over the summer of last year. Uh, held on to it. Took a little bit of profits on the way up. Some some negative earnings report came out, which really hammered the price of this one in December and uh, end of November, December, and. Really, since then, it's struggled to um, to get back up and, and break its uh, high from 2020. So it managed to run up at the start of the year. And right now we, we, we are um, working our way into a quite a constructive bullish pattern here where we are starting to make these lower, um, sorry, these higher lows. Um, and then we're coming back up and we've obviously retested the high so we are forming a bit of a sort of bullish triangle formation here and what i would be looking for is for this to hold around here so if we got back down to around 450s for buying buyers to start to push up quite aggressively and look to push this market higher back up to around the uh, 7.3 is it about 7.35s which which is our uh, yeah, which is our yearly high now, 2021 high, uh, and for us to break through. So I am bullish on uh, Canaan. It is one that I, I do hold, uh, that I do that I do think will do well. I know there's a, there's a probably a little bit more uncertainty and and, and well fear, uncertainty and doubt, like fud as the as a crypto space likes to call it around this start. Obviously, it is a Chinese company and um, potentially doesn't. Um, sort of attract the same confidence that a micro strategy or, or a riot would um, attract with obviously these stocks being listed oh um sorry based it based in the us and and, and canada with with um obviously including hive as well so yeah there's there, there is probably a few more question marks around um sort of canan so just just be aware of that risk but i think no matter what if the crypto market is going to run on higher and do some crazy things this year, then I very much expect all of these blockchain stocks to be a part of that, including Canon. So yeah, um, I, I, I am long. I will be uh, looking to, to, to probably add around about 450 and then just holding it to see if we can break out the uh, the recent highs and, and kind of push on to the IPO price, I think is, the, is going to be the first target for that. And if we just kind of look at where we are right now, and how much we could potentially push on you know we're talking about 150 percent gain um so yeah that'd be a two and a half x which would be quite nice and uh i wanted to save almost save the best to last i mean this has just been an absolutely crazy just crazy move there's there's no other way to call it we were uh covering this stock when it was when it was down here so around about I'm sure remember it being around about sort of 14 
Pence. And obviously, this is a UK listed blockchain company, Argo Blockchain. And uh, yeah, I, I, I was looking at the time was looking for a uh, for a breakout. But I'll tell you what, if, if, if we can just uh, if we can just sort of try and sort this chart out um, just with the scaling, obviously, obviously, at the time, I had seen this stock come from around about 4p up to about well where was it in december 14p very very quickly so you're talking about over a 3x and i was just looking at this thinking surely there's going to be a bit more of a correction at some point um but no we've 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 just absolutely absolutely exploded and uh yeah let's just i mean if we just look at you know from from back when this was around the four pence mark, 4.2 up to, I mean, just look at that, three over 3,000% 3, gain, absolutely insane. So, you know, going, almost going back to MicroStrategy, emphasizing it probably even more so than I was with MicroStrategy. This is obviously a stock that's got massively extended, um, loads of hype. Looking at the market capitalization of this company earlier, I think it's looking around about 300 million. So we're not talking um, huge, huge market cap either. And, you know, it has pulled back um, 45%. This is, this is a fairly significant pullback. And we do also have a couple of moving averages, the, the, this 21 day and 20 day MA, 21 is the EMA, starting to come in to now support the price. So, I mean, you know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't go uh, all in on this or, 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 or super hard on this, but potentially this is starting to look like a bit of a um, sort of buy setup is coming up on this stock. And certainly if that does coincide with uh, the rest of the crypto market starting to turn around and Bitcoin showing some strength and breaking through 42K dollars, then who knows, who knows, maybe, maybe, maybe this could uh, sort of fly up and, 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 put another you know sort of two two three x on the board just wouldn't surprise me at all um so congratulations to anybody that was in this move and um yeah potentially it looks like there could be an opportunity here to reload shortly so i um i will leave it there thank you very much for watching obviously i will be uh coming back with more crypto updates shortly if there's any other blockchain stocks or uh, other markets cryptos you'd like me to cover please do leave it in the comment section i'll try and add uh whatever you're interested in to my list for next time um and if you do enjoy the content please do like share subscribe and i'll see you on the next one